What's up guys, how's it going? This is uh, another segment on Easy Things to Draw. This is a segment called, uh, obviously, Critique Corner, basically where I, um, fans, I guess I say fans now, it's such a weird word to say, but you know, people that watch this channel send in art and if they want my take on it, they ask for advice and I give them a critique. And that's kind of the short of the sum of it. So send in any fan art that you have to omegaman20 at gmail.com. I have plenty of room uh, to go because I just started this segment. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll link it in the description below. So, all right, let's start on this. This is sent in by Jonathan. This is a uh, this is a half and half. It's half Carnage and half Hush. You know, if you guys have read the comic Hush, I love the comic Hush. You know, I don't know. I know a lot of people bagged on it. You know, like like I heard mixed reviews, but I liked it. I liked it a lot, man. Maybe I was a sucker for Jim Lee's artwork, but um. So let's get over. It. Let's go over it real quick. What's my critique? Um, number one. You know, and I know you're going to think this is really uh, anal of me, but, man, never use line, uh, line art, uh, li what do you call that? <laughs> uh, line paper. Don't use that stuff. I don't know why. I don't like seeing it, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know, I guess you're in class and you want to draw. I get it. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just, you know, a little thing. I'm trying not to do it on line, uh, line paper, but, hey, if you're in class, something to do. Uh, so, let's get into it. This is my first impression. First of all, it's awesome. Really good. Really, really good. I guess it's a ballpoint pen, maybe, or a fountain pen. I'm trying to look at that. Dang, man. That is, that is really good. Um, I don't even know how, what to say, really. I'm trying to think. I guess a lot of things are just like what... Everything I'm going to say from here on out is what you could do, what you could do to maybe push it. You know what I mean? But everything is pretty good. I would say the the lighting from this carnage is coming from down below, right? Um, let me see. Let me look over carnage first, then I'll look over hush. So with carnage... I would say if you want to get more advanced with it, try to try to steady. Uh, I guess it would all be about line manipulation. I would maybe kind of like give them a little more outline. Everything I'm going to do is very minor, by the way, right now. I just feel like it's already pretty dang good. Yeah, I mean, I would just kind of straighten things out. Also, you see... Um, and this is going to be a really advanced concept, what I'm about to say right now. But, okay, look at that, right? It's cool. It's cool. It's jaggedy. That's the way it's supposed to be. I think as you get more advanced, uh, you know, try to get even deeper. You know what I mean? Like that little, what I'm going to add right now, little fold. You know what I mean? And everything, uh, it doesn't have to be jaggedy with him, although he is a jaggedy character. Um, you know, usually drawings are a combination of rounds and sharp, sharps, you know. I don't know how to say that. Angles angles and rounds you know what i mean almost every drawing uh really good artists uh you know all those guys they all seem to do that so it's i think it's time to really push this also to the next level kind of you know if you want to push it um you're gonna have to like dig deeper in yourself and really look for what else could you do you know what i mean like pretend you got this drawing and you didn't draw it let's say let's just say you just got this drawing and you're like what can you do to improve this and then you have to think hard what could you do? Obviously, it's pen, so you can't do what I'm doing right now, which is kind of going over it. By the way, a uh, small note, in case uh, you guys haven't seen this segment before, I like using the computer for corrections. I think it's a lot better than printing it out and going over it. You know, it just seems like it's just so much easier, so that's why I use the computer to kind of give my critiques. I can point things out very easily, and I can just take the layers away if I need to. Uh, I would also balance out the lines. It's getting a little heavy. I, I guess it's a good to get heavy around here, right, because it's his hand. Uh, I think this is separating too much, even though I can tell that's the uh, that's the rest of his finger, right? I would maybe, and even though I did that, maybe make some sort of indication that it's rolling into. See, this is all super like it, super advanced kind of stuff, you know, because like it's, you're already doing this other stuff right. <clears throat> you're already doing this other stuff right, so it's kind of hard uh, to speak. Also, it's a little pixelated. I should have made a higher resolution, but I think that's the picture the way the picture came in. In terms of the muscles here, I know Carnage is a slimy, slimy, slime ball right there. So this is pretty good. Uh, the only thing I could say is a similar thing I said in another review, which is this shape and this shape look a little, a little repetitive. Maybe shorten this one a little bit. 
You know what I mean? They look like the same length for some reason. If they're if usually I I, I um I try to look at it and say are they too similar? You know what I mean? And right now I just think it looks like they're all the same length. You know what I mean? Sometimes they're the same. Maybe I would say like no, change the thickness of one or change the shape of one. They're all kind of going this way and they're all the same length. So I would maybe do that. Maybe shorten that to, to make it stand out. Completely change the direction of this one. Try to make it more random. You know. Um, not sure what's going on with this chest. Now that I really look hard at it right here. I think the anatomy is a little. I'm not sure it's a little. I think it's either off or it's just the way Carnage is. I can't tell. It looks like this is a pectoralis. And there was a, there was a split in it. But the split was going in kind of an odd direction. Um. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. Like I said, Carnage is a weird, weird dude. You know, maybe throw in some striations like that. I'm not really. Oops. I'm shitting. Eh, I don't know. Just ideas toying around there. I have to, I have to mess with it more. Here's another, actually, uh, here's another place where I think the lines are too even right here. Or, if you want to, uh, change the direction of it i think one line should be thicker than the other here even though i know that that's kind of going around the clavicle i believe i believe this is a clavicle right and it's going down that way i think i'm not totally sure though if that's true then you want to either you could indicate it which is a good idea the way you did but the clavicle really stands out it's this freaking bone that pulls out of you so i mean with with carnage i might even draw the clavicle all the way across you know what I mean? On a regular person, I might not, but he is a different kind of dude. Right, this is the rolling, right? Any shadow is, is like the light coming up here, and it's rolling around this mass, right? It's rolling. So you have to kind of remember that this is slowly rolling in darkness, and maybe this up here might also be, you know what I mean? Crosshatch too. Let's see. I don't want to do that with this. Just remember I said that. <laughs> I don't know where this is splitting as well over here. This is doing this some odd thing. Uh, just for uh, future reference, don't draw any. Uh, and uh, this is funny. And I, I don't want to bag on him. Um, not. I mean, by by him, I mean uh, comic artist Rob Liefeld. But his anatomy is pretty horrendous. Like I just, I I used to be like, why is everybody hitting? On, you know, going so hard on this dude. I'm not saying this is from Liefeld, but I'm just saying I would not copy drawings from Rob Liefeld because he'll make up his anatomy in a very weird way, you know, that I've never seen before. And uh, I think it's colored nice, and it seems to be drawn nice. It just doesn't have the, you know, the basis. I don't know. It's really strange. Okay, anyways, more of the light. See, the light's coming from up here. If, if you establish that, then there's probably going to be dark over on this side of the hand, right, because the hand is 3D. So this, this is probably going to be in dark. Maybe this is going to be in dark. And then this top part's going to be in dark, you know, because the fingers are around. Or they're going to, you know, they're not, they're not just going to be in dark. Maybe they'll be just cross-hatched, you know. And I would say this whole top of the finger really might be, you know, possibly there. But I know what you're saying, though, because, you know, you have to separate it. That's the reason for the light and the dark shapes. Like, they're kind of cheating it up here. I don't know if you did this from a drawing. But right here, that should definitely be dark. But, you know what I mean? You got to separate the darks and the lights sometimes or it's going to be all freaking dark, you know? Hmm. So, it's hard to say, but uh, I would say my, my main advice would be to kind of unify the shadow patterns by remembering where the light is coming from. You know what I mean? That would be the biggest critique I have on this side. I don't know. That's all I'm going to do on it, I think. Sorry, I kind of made it a little wobbly over there. I even throw something right here, you know. Bum, bum. Yeah, because in reality, that would all be kind of, this would all be kind of cross-hatched, you know. Hmm. Anywho, I didn't make that look any better, but, you know, you get my idea. Just remember the light, where the light is coming from. I would even put some light over here, because that's his arm, I think, over there, right? Anyways, I gotta stop messing with that side. Let's get to this side. 
Alrighty, this side's, I don't know, this side's near perfect, really, I don't know, like, I, I guess I would add, like, again, I'd have to push something, you'd have to maybe push a fold in here, that's the only thing that comes to mind right here, push a major crease in this freaking coat. That's really all I can think of to do. Uh, other than that, the lines all make sense. I mean, it might be, uh, I, I definitely see... Uh, Definitely leaning on the angular part of it, you know what I mean? I think uh, the way you draw is uh, very angular, more than round, you know? I know you have round shapes, there's definitely rounds in there mixed in, but I see a lot more angles than I do, than I see round, you know? And that's good, that's actually, most people I think do it round, you know, or very round. So you got like the opposite problem, uh, almost like you're too angular a little bit sometimes. But uh, that's a better, I think that's better, personally. You know what I mean? And again, this is all like detail. It depends how, how you want to, what kind of style you want to go with. You want to make it angular, his head, or do you want to not make it so angular? You know, just kind of smooth it out. And everything's like a gentle thing. That's why I'm saying this is more advanced because you have to be, now you're going to the subtlety. You know what I mean? Do you want to just make that little rounder? You know, like, do you want that edge to be like so, or do you want it to be like so? And you would think like, who cares, right? <laughs> like, you would think that. But in reality, it changes the whole kind of dynamic of the picture. You know, it really does. And uh, it's really surreal to think that, but it really does. Even just something like that, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I don't really have much to say on the Hush side. That was awesome. That, that was really good. I really don't know what to say about that. Anyways, great job. Thanks a lot, uh, Jonathan. That was awesome. And uh, so... That's it for this segment. For anybody that wants their art critiqued, please let me know, and I will. I'm gonna repeat this again. If anybody wants, what is going on? Uh, I always have problems with this. Sorry, guys. If anybody wants a critique, please go to. I mean, sorry, email a picture to omegaman20 at gmail.com. Send, uh, send a picture in, e in email form to omegaman20 at gmail.com. And I'll uh, put you in a segment. Right now is a good time. I just started this, so uh, I want to do a bunch of them. Uh, can be anything you want. And uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll critique it. Not anything, nothing you know, X rated or anything, but just you know, within reason, guys. But uh, all right, I'll see you later. I'm trying to grow this segment. Please subscribe to this channel. Spread this around, by the way. I'd love to get more followers. Uh, I'm get I'm gaining a lot of followers a day, and I'm really proud of it. Thanks a lot to you guys. Really, I'm really thanking to you, thankful to you guys. Uh, you've done so much for me. All right, I'll see you later. Peace out.